and welcome to Community Cooking. I'm your host, Daryl Mishluck. Tonight is a fun night. We're going to have a great show for you. It's a kind of award-winning show. I'm going to tease you a little bit there. Take a moment to thank our sponsors. Of course, Safeway, who gives us our produce and everything we need for each and every show. Thank you guys very much. And there are a lot of great people down there that can help you out with whatever you're looking for. So if you don't find it, just ask. So we're going to be getting into our show very shortly. And like I said, my guest today is the award winner. Mm, pretty impressive for community cooking. We'll be back in just one moment. Hello, and we're back to community cooking. My guest tonight, Karen Quinn. How are you doing? Hi, Daryl. Thanks for being here. You're welcome. Appreciate it. Now, some of you might recognize Karen. I'm sure a few of you do. Um, meat department, Safeway. Absolutely. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I've been with Safeway now for 30 years. 30 uh, years. So right after high school. Right after high school. 26 years in the meat department and uh, seen lots of changes in Safeway and yes. in our meat department. I so. would imagine so, eh? Mm -hmm. Things have changed a lot yes, through they the have, years. Yeah. Now, you're, you're originally from Kenora? I am originally from okay. Kenora. Actually, my father was a store manager at Safeway, and that's how I happened to be there. Wow. Yes. And your yeah. dad's name? Steve Borden. And you know what? I have a little... I have something that you mm. probably don't even know. Mr. Borden got me into Toastmasters. Really? About 21 years ago. He, uh, we were chatting one day okay. in the store, and he says, you should be in Toastmasters, and I'm going to sponsor you. And sure enough, I went for about four or five years. Excellent. I thought it was great. So well, he loved Toastmasters. It's a small world, eh? It is a small world. Now, tonight on the show, um, I said award winning. You said contest winning because yes. Karen's shy. But here it is. Best of the Burger Bunch. That's right. Now, that was the uh, free press? or That sorry? was the free press. The free press. So... Now, it's a hamburger recipe that you say we can make into hamburger or we can make into to meatloaf, meatloaf or, or meatballs. Year, yes, or meatball. right. So why did you get involved with this? I did this for a lark. Just for fun? Just for fun. I, I've had this recipe for quite a while and I've used it and I've told lots of my customers about it. Okay. And I actually said to my husband, I think maybe I should enter this contest. And I waited a couple of weeks and finally sent my entry in through the email. And actually, I was awarded or this prize I won on my 50th birthday. Wow. In July. How was that? Yeah, so it was kind of, it was Great fun. Great birthday. Yeah. Right on. Now, so what we need to go over is what we need for tonight. Now, I'll tell you, this is pretty simple. We need a bowl. A bowl. And a casserole dish. And that's almost it for and, utensils, right? And, a, and a knife. And a knife. Okay. And then ingredients. Uh, a pound of hot or mild Italian sausage. Okay. We do have two varieties at Safeway. All right. The hot is really nice. It adds a little bit extra flavor to our meatloaf or meatballs or hamburgers, but it's not hot tasting. Okay. And a pound and a half of lean ground beef. Just, and that's it. That's it. We're ready to rock and, and roll. Ready to rock and roll. Okay. Well, let's get started. Uh, what do we need to do first? We'll okay. move this out of the we'll way. We'll move though. that out of the way. Right. And let's put this in our bowl. Okay. Now, I was asking you, Karen, uh, mm -hmm. earlier, there's no other spices that we need. Nope. This is it. Other than our, than our onion oh, soup Oh, sorry, mix. I yes. forgot one and more thing. Yes, we did forget that. I forgot this, sorry. Onion soup mix. Now, uh, there's Lipton, but Safeway has their own Safeway brand. Safeway, yeah. There's also a generic brand. Okay. I prefer the Lipton. I use only half a package. Okay. Now you can certainly add more depending on your if you like a little bit more salt in your right. in your mix. Okay. So and then what we do is uh, you need to open up this, right? Open that up. Okay. Now meat department that's changed a lot. It has changed a you lot. You know, I mean we uh, sort of everything comes packaged now. It does come. It co we call it a counter ready uh, packing. Okay. That we get from our main plant in Winnipeg that okay. packs all the meat for Safeway. All right. Yeah. But I mean, one time you guys used to have like tons of Yes, uh, quite a few years ago. I remember coming in with sides and hinds, and yes. then we went into block ready, and now we're into counter ready. Wow. So, okay. Yeah, I've seen lots of changes. Now, what this is, this is really easy to peel off. Okay. These are, these cases just peel off like this. So we're just taking the casing off. That's all we're okay. doing. Okay. And yes, so we washed did, our hands before we got we started. We did wash our hands. So we I did have, have our ground beef in the fridge okay. to make sure it stayed. And then we oh, sorry. I shouldn't have done that, right? No, you can oh, do that. Okay. And then this just all goes in here like this. Okay. You can use a knife if you don't like the feel of the sausage. Now, the, the sausage, this sausage, it's, it's pork and beef or this just pork? This is just pork. Okay. So that's a nice combination it of mixing nice the two. Exactly. 
Okay. And uh, we used to sell actually a hotter sausage. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm saying this correct. It's called chorizo. Okay. Which was very, very spicy, which would go excellent in here. Very good. Okay, so there. Okay, so we put what that I all usually in. do is I just mush this up. Way easier to do this with your hand than it is with a spoon. Yeah, we I mean, that was one question that we had when you came in. Yeah. It's, it had a we spoon. Really, yeah, we want to blend We get this in, in there. This. Exactly. Yeah. We just want to get in there. You're in your own kitchen. No, you've, uh, I mean, meat department, so I guess you've experimented with a lot of what you do yes. there. Yeah. Um, Meatloafs, all that. Do you ever add anything to hold it together or? Not with this. Not with this. You don't have to hold this together. Okay. Because with the sausage in there, it's very, very gooey. Okay. If I didn't put any of the sausage in here, of course, we'd be looking at an egg and we'd be looking maybe at Italian breadcrumbs. We'd be looking okay. at some. But this will not come apart. Okay. Very good. Very good. And we just mix that in there. And then we take. Oh, sorry. I, I'll get that because you're a little messy there, which is fine. I can do that. Okay. Onion soup mix, about half a package, you said. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So I'll rip that open. And, and sometimes with these, I take a knife because all the onion flakes okay, are on the top. Okay. And I just mix in some of the seasoning to it. Okay, there we go. That's usually the plan. And that's all I need. Okay, and that's it. And mix that in. Now, uh, cooking meatloaf, everybody has their own variety of how to do it oh, heat wise. There's a million recipes for meatloaf out there. So we're using actually a fairly large casserole dish. Mm -hmm. So we're going to get a, a like a kind of a lower profile. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I tend to make mine a little bit more round because I have an enamel pot at home and oh. I like it nice and rounded. Okay. Very good. Now something I can suggest you can do with your meatloaf is you can put a nice tomato paste on there if you want to dress it up a little bit. All right. That's a, that's a good suggestion. Yeah. I remember my mom always used to, well, it wasn't necessarily uh, uh, tomato sauce. Ketchup used to go ketchup on the top. Ketchup was perfect. Ketchup down the is middle perfect, of it. yes. That's right. Gave it a good glaze. And, and this is just so tasty. So, so I just make a point to people here. Here we are. We're like six minutes into preparation. Absolutely. We're mm -hmm. almost done. Mm -hmm. And this was award winning. How cool is that? Mm -hmm. So, into there next. Perfect. And we just... Now, do you need to grease the pan no, or anything? No. Holy moly. Lean ground beef is 90% lean. We have 10% fat in here. Okay. So we're going to get just a nice little bit of juice on the bottom. All right. After it's baked, we can make that long and flat. 325 in the oven. An hour and a half. An hour and a half. Now, this is going in the oven, an hour and a half. Yes. We don't need to push it out to the sides? Nope. It just will... Stay. It will stay like that. It oh. will... It will absolutely stay exactly like that. Well, that's pretty. Uh, occasionally, when I put stuff in it, it just goes all yeah. over the place there. Yeah. But you're saying the sausage is what's kind of holding it the together. The sausage is what's holding it together. So it's kind of gooey in the pork mm -hmm. mixed in. Okay, yes. well, what we can do is we can put that. I've set the oven at 350. Okay, let's put our lid I on will, there, Derek. Oh, do you want the, sorry? Sure, let's put eh. the lid on. Okay. Put the lid we probably on. don't. I mean, if we're going to put ketchup on there after, we could remove our lid, right. put the ketchup on there, let it bake you know, the last uh, half hour or so. Okay, so what we'll do is we're gonna take a break, give you a chance to clean up. Yeah. We'll come back, we're gonna talk about meat, cuts, etc. cetera, mm -hmm. cause you're the expert mm. and you can fill us in. Well, I'll let you know on a couple little secrets. Okay, Community Cooking will be back in just. We're back with Community Cooking, my guest tonight, Karen Quinn from Safeway Meat Department. Thank you. Okay, you've been there a while now. Yes. Okay, barbecue, big thing here in mm. the summertime, mm -hmm. all year round, people Absolutely. love to barbecue. Yes. Steak. It's the best cut of steak. Oh, best cut of steak, you have to say, is beef tenderloin. Beef tenderloin. Beef tenderloin. A lot of people call it filet. Okay. Same thing. All right. And how thick should it be? Like, people go, this thick or that thick. Oh, you've got to have a filet at least, you know, a nice filet, a nice inch and a half. Inch, inch and, and a quarter, okay. inch and a half. Nice six ounce, nice eight ounce portion. Now, do you, want, do you want any fat on there, a little bit? Uh... Beef tenderloin tends to be quite lean. Okay. Uh, you want to look for something that has some uh, marbling in it, which we call fat. Okay, marbling. And uh, okay. that gives it certainly a lot more taste. All right. Yeah. Now, I, I like my, I, I personally like T-bone. Where does T-bone fit on the scale of steaks? Oh, it's pretty well up there. Is yeah, that right? It is. It's probably fourth down on the uh, on okay. the list of steaks. Because so. a T-bone is a combination of two steaks, right? Like a, Actually, one side is... 
uh, you do have a, a piece of fillet on that T-bone. Okay. And actually, if you boned out a T-bone and took the top part off, it would be called a New York or a strip loin, Ooh. which it, we sell. Maybe that's why I like them, because there's two yes, steaks there in one. Now, um, we are talking, uh, before we came back, and I was saying, what kind of meats do you like to deal with? And I've never done lamb on the show, and you say... Lamb is... lamb is certainly very popular, especially in the summer with all of our tours. We sell uh, fresh racks of lamb and lamb chops. Okay. Uh, we also have fresh lamb legs that are really popular too. So. Now, is there a special way to do lamb or is there lots of Everyone's ways? got their own preference. Um, I Racks of lamb are my favorite. I tend to make a paste with them with olive oil, okay. mustard, fresh rosemary, and you baste it on wow. the top. Yes. And then and just in the oven? You can do it in the oven. You can uh, sear it on both sides, put your paste on, do it on the barbecue, do it in the oven. Okay. Uh, I, I prefer sometimes to marinate my racks. I use okay. a mint sauce yep. with light soya sauce, fresh garlic, lots of fresh garlic, and marinate it for 12 hours, marinate it for overnight. Does great on the barbecue. Excellent. Now, you at Safeway, you've been there a long time, so you got interaction with your clients, customers? Lots of interaction, lots of exchanging of recipes, lots of people coming in saying, Karen, what can I cook tonight? Uh, okay. Any ideas? Or I want to cook this. Uh, how do you do this particular recipe? So it's, uh, well, we have lots of fun. Good. Well, remember that you're down there and you want something different, ask. The ladies, yeah, the guys we'll behind there. The best we can. I know I, I many times go down and I'm looking for something mm -hmm. and I can't quite find it. And I just ask and yeah. man, you guys yeah. are there. That's yeah. good. Okay, so uh, we're our 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 casserole, meatloaf, mm -hmm. award winning, contest winning Prize. is in the oven. <laughs> Cooking, yes. it's going to take an hour to an hour and a half. Uh, probably that, yes. Approximately, because yeah. you want to make sure with ground beef, absolutely, it's cooked. Absolutely. We you don't know. want ground beef cooked medium. We right. want it cooked right through. That's right. Uh, but you know what? We've been talking about meat, so I'm going to just take a minute here. to. Uh, uh, we have this uh, great book here. It's called uh, Companies Coming Most Love Treats. Okay? And I want to give this away. Karen and I want to give this away. You we can. want somebody out there to get this. And uh, the way to get it will be to tell us what the uh, best cut of steak is. Karen mentioned that just a little few, very few minutes ago, her concept of what the best cut of steak was. So that's what we want to do. You email us uh, to uh, Daryl M at norcomcable.ca or go to our website, of course, uh, local programming, local television. You click on it, you go to the website, there's a place to email, and you email us and all the correct answers we're going to put in a big pot and we're going to draw Perfect. and someone's going to win this great book because these company company people, great cookbooks. They send me a lot to give away. And that's what we like to do with it, have some contests. I have some of those at home and they're great, yes. I, do, do you collect a lot of cookbooks? I do, I not a lot, but it's just some that kind of catch my eye. Uh, treats is not one of my things that I do a lot. Okay. But uh, See, uh, with me, cookbooks are, I think I more have tons of pieces of paper with recipes. I have a folder with okay. little pieces that I cut out from here and I pick yeah. up from here or somebody gives me. And, yeah. and I, find, I find that I, get, I think what I need to do is put them together into a book. Mm -hmm. Like I, I, we've done. You should write your own book. Well, we've done the cooking show for okay. for three years now, and uh, probably you know one third of the recipes I've just invented. Okay. Coming to work, driving, going. Eh, maybe that'll work. Or or I watch a cooking show. Do you ever do that? Watch watch somebody yes. doing something. Go. Okay, I like that, but I don't like that. Uh, that's right. And, and then, then you alter it. That. Yeah, I like so, doing that too. Yeah. So that's a lot yeah. of fun. Maybe you should write your own book, and then we could have a community fundraising, and we hey, could sell your book. There we go. Have we maybe a fundraising for the hospital yeah. or or something. So. There's plenty of plenty of fundraising there to be is, done locally. Absolutely. Point. So what we're going to do is uh, Karen and I are going to take another break, and when we come back, we're going to be able to have take a look at our meatloaf and see how it's doing, and recap the recipe, etc. So uh, community cooking. We'll be back. Just hello, and we're back to community cooking. My guest Karen Quinn. That smells really good. I'm getting hungry, Daryl. While we take a quick look at it, uh, this is the uh, award-winning, contest-winning hamburger recipe, meatloaf, or hamburgers, whatever you want to make it. Or meatballs. Or meat, oh right, yes, meatballs. Yes, meatballs, Christmas is coming. So, we'll just take a quick look at it here. It still needs to be done a bit more. Yes. Uh, but as you can see, it stayed together like you promised, mm -hmm. and now we're just getting into that browning section of the cooking. Okay, absolutely. So this needs to be in there for a bit longer, so we're going to put it away, and we're going to munch on that later, because we need to talk about our recipe. So we put that back. Now this recipe is so simple. 
And we're, we have your article here. And, and I mean, if we can get the camera, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna be in the way here. I'm gonna put this up. This is the winning burger recipe. Right. Submitted by Karen Quinn of Lake of the Woods, Ontario. Because you didn't even think you were gonna win. No, I didn't. So you just, you didn't even put Kenora. No, just Lake of the Woods, Ontario. Not. Look at this, there's the recipe. One and a half pounds of lean ground beef, one pound of hot or mild Italian sausage, and one half a package of onion soup. Mix. Right. And you mix it all together. Yes. And then you either make burgers out of it, or meatballs, meatballs. out of it, or meatloaf out of it. Right. Fantastic. So that was it. That was our recipe right there. It was mm -hmm. pretty simple. You don't need a whole lot of anything. Uh, what I do want to mention though is take a minute here to thank our sponsors again. Safeway, of course, where you're at. Thank you. And of course, Boston Pizza, Gray Power, and Lakewood Credit Union, all sponsors of our show. We had a contest this show. We want to give away this cooking book. What was the question? The question is, what is the most tender steak that we saw on Safeway? So that's the question. We had the answer during the show. So you just got to remember to tell us what it was. Absolutely. Uh, Karen's the meat expert, so when you need something from down there, you know, I mean, even maybe if you drifted down and asked her today or tomorrow or the next day, but by that time it's too late because we shot this quite a while ago. So what we're looking for is you email us your answers for this contest uh, to Daryl M at NorcomCable.ca or you can go to our website where we have local television. You click on there, you'll see our show sites. There's an email button. So you can email us your answer, you can email us your suggestion, you can email us whatever you want. That's kind of what it's all about. Sounds like a plan. And uh, we do really want to hear from you, our viewers. Uh, we have a lot of fun doing the show. We have lots of guests on here. Karen's gave me some great ideas for some more guests, mm -hmm. people who've given her recipes in the past. So. Mm -hmm.